no big news another one of those days that chills you right to your core which means it's also a perfect day to go outside and play in the snow if you do venture out into the cold check the ground for snowballs and give them a little push keep rolling them up and once they get big enough you can stick two together to make a snow boy only two? Oh yeah there's only two i thought there were three why do i think there were three because most snowmen okay okay did that thing move in where is he at well let's go check on quilson they said nothing about quilson moving in even his house is like i was gonna say an ugly color i actually like that color i just don't like it on quilson oh this is a nice where do you get that fucking fish Does this fish come with the house this isn't bad oh i don't want to talk to him but i want to know what he's working on who could have imagined that a little camping would lead to this you remember, right? Inviting me to move here when we were hanging out. Hanging out is a strong word. Well, so far, a drawer totally delivers. This place is paradise, and it's not overcrowded with one of the fried ice cream chefs yet. I'm the first- <laughs> That is pretty funny. Tell me what the fuck you're making, bro. I don't even like talking to you. Leon, welcome to the- Ah, uh, he's a smug. And I love smugs, but why does he have to look like this? I'm gonna go real hard today. Gonna play hard, snack hard, yell chirp hard. Do you, Brody. I gave myself some money. I should be able to afford everything now. Everything I want, like this cup of, like this mug. Well, hello there, Leon. Congratulations. You are the proud owner of a luxuriously sized paid and full home. I can't imagine the feeling of satisfaction you must have. Truly, what could be better, hmm? Well, I suppose you could have another room. That might technically be considered better. Oh, don't mind me. I simply can't help myself. But do come see me if you, if I've piqued your interest. Was I already on the third? I think I already did this day. I was time traveling, so I completely forget. I have 8,000 nook miles from donating fossils. Did I say I had a fuchsia today? I don't think I did. My leg is falling asleep. I'm sitting like XQC. Oh, she's sick in this ugly ass house. I cannot wait for her to leave. Listen, I love her and I can't wait to get her photo, but she also needs to go because I hate this house. It's one of the worst starter homes. I'm gonna go get her some medicine. First of all, ultimate pocket stuffing. Oh yeah, and we definitely need another bridge. Um, for how long I've been filming this day, literally nothing has happened. Okay, I'm not gonna look it up. I know these two are fake. Um, is this one real? Am I gonna get scammed? How do I tell if this one's real? I think this one's always real. This might be one of the ones that's always real. That happens a lot, actually. It's either real or I'm getting scammed. You can tell me later. Wilson sent me something. Bon voyage. That's French for congrats on your home renovation. Buddy, we're not. We're actually not friends. Oh my god. I didn't get fusion. I didn't get fusion medicine. How can I help you? Hmm? What should I do? How do we get more people on my island? Yes, yes. I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. We started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of our island and gaining that all-important word-of-mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with collating the feedback, so talk to her for latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery, and turn a drill into the most charming island it can be. Ah, that reminds me. Scrambling to prepare plots when someone wants to move in here is a difficult way of doing things, yes? That's why as a part of improving infrastructure, we'll set aside plots in advance and put them for sale. I have to charge a small processing fee, but if we get a buyer who moves in, I'll give you miles as a reward. In addition to improving the island's infrastructure, I want you to put some work into improving the scenery. Got it. Got it. Did he give me plots to put down? How do I put the plots down, sir? He said, I'll do this, 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 and that. Give me the fucking plots, homie. Mr. Duke mentioned I'm leading a task force that can... The image of our island. Okay. Island evals. Oh, wonderful. Seems you guys excited to hear about the image of our island. Isabel, tell me how many stars we have. <laughs> Their feedback is ranked. Five star system. Better balance. Blah, 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 blah. Easy enough, right? But if we can't achieve the perfect balance... As it stands, we currently have a one star rating. Okay. All right, let's set these houses up, Mr. Nook. If you're wondering why my hair is different, it's because I took a thumbnail photo and I just wanted my afro. The afro is legendary. It's the best hair in the game. Until they add dreads that look like mine, which they won't, this afro is the best hair in the game. 
Why is he charging me bells to put houses on his land that he's gonna get? I'm confused. Why am I paying for this? That doesn't make any sense. Imagine your landlord being like, I want to sell houses to other people. You give me <laughs> $5,000. And then when they move in, I'll give you food. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what do you mean miles in exchange for money? It's like, this isn't a fair exchange. Why am I paying you anything? To sell plots. How many plots? Just one? It's you, mother. Okay, whatever. Whatever. All right, I need this house up out the way. I could probably just put it in the back somewhere. Because when I start actually building this up, I'll probably start from the front. I don't know who's going to live here. Hopefully, hopefully they don't mind being back here. I feel like if I put them back here, I'm going to forget about them. I'll just put them over here. I don't feel like putting everything on the beach. I have enough on the beach. Like the museum's on the beach. My house is on the beach. Everything's on the beach. We'll just keep that there. I noticed I have just a bit of a vocal, a vocal fly. I noticed I have just a bit of a vocal fry. I don't know where that comes from. I'm very sorry. I'm from the Midwest. I don't know if it's a Midwest accent thing. Sometimes I hear people talk about Midwest accents. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Because I don't have an accent. I have a standard American accent, which is what the Midwest accent is. But sometimes people will be like, mm, I love their Midwest accent. If I could speak with any accent, they'd be like, mm, I love their Midwest accent. Bitch, Midwest. Fuck you. And I'm not offended, but like just the association of Midwest. I don't like it. I actually don't know what people think when they think Midwest because I was born and raised here. Like when I think New York, I think of like, I think of like bodegas and like the subway. And like I'm walking here. When I think of California, I think of like Valley Girl accents. And like surfing and i feel like my vocal fry is associated more with like a valley girl accent i paused in that sentence for like five seconds and i forgot what i was saying oh i don't know what people associate the midwest with though because i'm from here you know what i mean does that make sense probably not i still don't i have to pay him for every lot that i put down why is that he did, did he even give me my miles for the first lot i put down oh i think they have to move in first i feel like this is insane regardless Okay, I am excited to put these houses down. I'm going to put these houses down, and then if I can villager hunt, we're going to do that in a separate video. Because I, at the very least, want villagers that I like. You know what I mean? I'm not too picky, but there's no way I'm just letting this plot fill. If I can avoid it. I don't know if I can. Actually, I think they just fill. Now that I think about it, yeah, on my main island, I had like four mouse villagers, <laughs> and I hated it. I'm giving him $30,000 to put houses down that he's going to get the rent from. This man is an actual thief. Like, we're actually being robbed. All right, put the three neighbors next to each other. Okay, I think this is the last one we can put down. I just gave this man $40,000. 40,000 bells. Okay, that's the last one. So now I got to move in four villagers. Can we villager hunt? Because I will give myself tickets. Okay, I don't think I can villager hunt. I think tomorrow. I've done everything. I, I put the houses down. I put a bridge down. Oh, what are they talking about? Annabelle, my goal is to be, you know, a multifaceted pop star. A munchy fact did what now? I want to be someone who has, you know, a bunch of different skills. Hmm, what kind of skills should I learn, Leon? Why, don't, why are you asking me? Survival skills. Go to the fucking wilderness, huh? I mean, okay. Yeah, maybe I could do some survival stuff. I could do songs about, I don't know, um, farming or compost heaps or hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> Whoa, real good ideas. <laughs> compost heaps be way useful if zombies attack the island. Zombies? But why would compost? You know what? Maybe I don't need any survival skills. Okay, finally got this medicine for Fuchsia. Poor baby's been dying in her house for days. All right, we're going to see what villagers we get. Oh, babe. So sorry. <laughs> What if she chased me to the other side of the island? She won't do that, but wouldn't that be hilarious? A medicine delivery. Seriously? Hey, I'm not gonna complain. Urk, blah, uh, blah, yuck. That stuff tastes terrible. Whoa, I didn't expect that stuff to kick in so fast. So you big time, Leon. Here, why don't you take the track jacket? You earned it. You shouldn't have. Not a track jacket. Oh, the worthy painting was real, thank God. I really thought I got scammed. I have ice cream paint jobs stuck in my head. That song might be like 20 years old. Okay, it's day five and Gulliver's drunk ass is somewhere on the beach. Oh, see, sold. Can't pick. Fauna. 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 I think I like Fauna. I think I've had Fauna. Why am I pronouncing it that way? Fauna. Fauna. Am I saying it weird? <laughs> Someone tell me. Fauna. 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 Oh, I hate it. I hate how I'm saying it. Fauna. Fauna. Ugh, I wish they sold more useful shit. I would just want to buy them out. Okay, I have one ticket. Let me see if I get. Well, hold on. Let's check what Tom Nakesa say first. 
Dr. Coulson's ugly ass. I can't feel. I truly can't cope. I know I'm being shallow, but I'm all about villager eugenics. You know what I mean? Well, hello there, Leon. I must thank you for the diligent repayment of your home loan. Yes, yes. I must ask, were your payments by any chance motivated by a desire for an expansion? This money hungry fuck, I can't stand him. I'm not asking you about shit. Actually, I will. I am gonna ask him about shit because, oh, first of all, infrastructure. Actually, you know what? Inclines are not that important right now. Let's expand again because we get Nook Miles. Um, the more we expand, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I don't know if using the Nook Mile ticket now, I'll find someone. I think they just have you use it the first time to see, like to be like, hey, you can go to a different island. This is what it looks like. So I don't know if I'm gonna find anyone. I don't know if that's how it works. If I do find someone, I'll take them though. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna find anyone on this island. Oh, oh, I did. Should we take Ken? <laughs> Should we take him? This is our first villager we ever found with a ticket on this island. And Kim's not that bad. I think fate brought us together. I hope we can make good memories, you know? Sir, who are you? Should we take Ken or just see what it fills with? Because what if it fills with someone worse than Ken? I was just interested, but I think it would be more fun to see who it fills with, honestly. Like, I have enough Nook Miles tickets that I don't need, that I didn't need to save that one in particular. I was just curious. Because if it was like Anka or Stitches or, you know, anyone, or like Sasha, anyone that I wanted for a long time, we obviously would have took them. But since it's just Ken, I, I'm kind of more curious to see who it auto fills with. But with this, we can go to the, we can go to the next day. I didn't see Gulliver yesterday because I said it and then I completely forgot. I just I just wasn't that interested in finding him, to be honest. We have a new friend on our island. Give a bigger draw a welcome to Fauna. Fauna on behalf of our new island family. Fauna is deaf. She's the brown deer, right? I've, I had Fauna on my island before. I'm thinking of Deirdre. Okay, no. Uh, yeah, no, I've definitely had Fauna. Okay. Oh, we got Fauna, but no one else moved in. No, welcome back, Fauna. Welcome back to the channel. Was Fauna? I definitely have Fauna on this channel, yeah. She can't get away from us. All right, we can see who else we get in the next video. Why are you working out right here, Melba? Good afternoon, Toasty. What's up? I'm trying to be a good listener. Oh, dude, a guitar. Finally. Oh, that's not that much. I thought this was going to be like 16,000 bells. Okay. I think we're good. 